Yo, what's going on, dudes? Jesus, God, a lot of experts out there. Thanks for all the comments in the last video about the Dave Tubbs spring, and a lot of guys left a, a lot of good information and good opinions and ideas. Let's keep it simple, guys. Let's not get too complicated with these guns, because guns really ain't too complicated. The worst thing you want to do is make things uh, um, more complicated than what they are. You got to kind of see through the bullshit and cut through the chase and uh, really narrow it down quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they, everyone left a, a lot of good comments and that I agreed with. But, man, some of you guys are super smart and technical. I don't, I can't keep up with them comments. But uh, thank you. Thank you for all the uh, great information. Uh, try to keep things simple because uh, new gun people, they get nervous when you sound like a, uh, an instruction manual. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I try not to do that because really working on these uh, guns and it, it's really not too hard it really isn't okay okay there's something uh, a lot of uh, a couple guys got a little irritated because I got rid of the MMP listen man it's, it's like this it's real simple by the way we have a cold front coming from Canada and it's it, it this is this weather is awesome it's like uh, I know I go off topic it's like 60 degrees and breezy I just want to lay naked in the grass. You don't understand. About three days ago, it was, it was 97 and you couldn't breathe. And then we get this. It's awesome weather today. Anyway. It's real simple. If you guys want to sit there and, uh, and do your process of elimination. Sorry, I didn't get the whole lights on. Do your process of elimination and, tr and try to narrow down the problem with your gun. That's good for you, man. Not me. If I buy a gun and it ain't a hundred percent, nothing's a hundred percent. You know what I mean? If I buy a gun and it ain't ninety nine point nine percent, and it's a gun that I'm carrying, I don't care what you say. I don't care what it might be. I don't care if you're gonna try this. I'm not gonna try that. This is a gun that has to save my life. If this gun has any questions of reliability, and if I have to question it at all, will it work? I am not keeping that gun. If it's a range gun, that's different. That's different. If it's a range gun and it hiccups once in a while and, and you know, I don't know. That's different. I'll try to monkey around with it and try to fix the problem. But if I buy a gun that's to carry, to have to carry, and I got to sit there and try to figure out why it's malfunctioning or was it bad ammo or all that shit, call me an asshole, say I waste my money, I don't care. That gun, I'm, I'm not keeping it. Sorry. I have plenty of guns in that safe where uh, they have normal patterns of malfunction like maybe 1 in 300 or maybe 1 in 250 or 1 in 100 that's normal but when, some, when a gun stove piping one after the other and then jams four times within one session uh, I don't care if it's the ammo or not I lost complete faith in the pistol it's just psychological it's gone that's it uh, your carry gun should work, period. So, whatever. That's my opinion right back at you. So that's why the MMP is not here anymore. Uh, the MMP is... Uh, my MMP didn't work out well. The MMP is a great pistol. There's a lot of police that use them. And Ron has an MMP. He never has problems with his. But I, I had problems with mine. I'm not keeping it. There it is. Okay? That's how I roll. That's how I roll. By the way, Mr. 45 Bullet just got a beach chair and it came with a snack tray. Bill, what are you doing? By the way, Bill, give me a call. Let me know where you got that. Uh, there's one thing I didn't do on my AR and I want to show you guys how to do it. Once you get a gas piston system installed in your AR, uh, uh, once, once you have a gas piston system like the Osprey gas piston system installed in your AR, you do not need the bolt gas rings anymore and I'm going to show you how to take them apart the gold bit the, the bolt gas rings they kind of act like they act like a it kind of acts like a piston or like brake pads because it goes back and forth from the gas pressure well now you don't need them anymore and it's just something else it's another part in, in your rifle that you can take out and not worry about because they do wear out and you eventually have to uh, replace gas rings once in a while so um, 
but there's no need for them once you have the Osprey gas piston system in there. And plus, it lets the, it lets the bolt float more freely, and uh, so if dirt gets in there or anything gets in there or if some crazy thing is, if, you, if, you're, if you are a, count, a combat person or something like that, and water gets in your rifle, it'll let the bolt drain. You know, I mean, I'm getting ridiculous now, but it's the truth. Uh, the bolt will float more freely and loosely, and uh, it's just better. You don't you don't need the gas rings. So I'm going to show you how to take the gas rings. It's pretty easy, I hope. <coughs> now it's pretty easy. So I'm going to take the gun apart, take the bolt apart, and then uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Just something I was supposed to do, and I didn't. I just never did it. I just never did it. Let's uh, let's make sure this is uh, safe. I might have to reposition the camera because I'm going to get pretty close. These gas rings are really small, they're real tiny. Just want to show you guys that uh, firearms and the rifle is safe, and uh, which I think is ridiculous that I have to show you guys that. Uh, I do that because I try to do it all the time. I do that because I'm trying to be a good example for new gun owners, trying to teach them safety. But really, if something happened here, the only one that's going to get hurt is me. But I understand why people do it, so I think it's a good thing that people do that. Okay, uh, let's get this apart and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, this is my nickel boron bolt carrier. Okay, and this is the bolt. And as you can see, it moves back and forth, but it's kind of stiff. See how stiff it is? I'll have to. You know what makes it stiff is the gas rings because they act like little, look like little, they act like little brake pads. What they act like, and uh, we need to remove them because there's no need for them anymore. So what we're going to do is just take this bolt carrier apart, take the uh, pin out, and take the firing pin out, nice and clean. Keep your shit clean, okay? Okay, your cam. Lock out, that's what I call it, and take the bolt out. Here is the actual bolt, and here is the gas rings right around here. There's three of them, and they're kind of put on like key rings. Now, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, i got to get the camera really, really close for you guys to see this. This is a real tiny part. Uh, hold on again. Alright guys, this is the gas, these are the gas rings, there's three of them, like I said, they're on there like a keychain. And what you do is you just take one off at a time, I use this, some people, you can use a knife, a lot of guys I see use a knife. I'm just not that good, I need special tools because I am a special, special ed person. And you just turn it around, turn it around, just like you're taking a tire off a rim. And there's one. Now I'll keep these. Always keep your stuff, just in case you get another AR and it has a regular gas system, and then you might be able to use them. And this is just how you take them off. They just pop right off. I don't know if you see what I'm doing. There's three. Three little rings. Three little rings. Alright. Same here. Bing. Alright. Now, there it is. No gas rings on there, and now the bolt is going to have less friction. There's no need for the gas ring, okay? Okay, now we're going to put the uh, bolt back in, and I'm going to show you a little bit of a difference it makes. Hold the phone. Now remember, I only do this if you have the Osprey gas piston system. Don't do this if you have a regular gas-fed AR. Thank you. All right, we're going to put this back together. Um, I can see this is pretty dry, so I'll hit it with a little ballistol, just a touch, that's all. Ballistol goes a long way, it's like friggin' egg yolk, you know what I'm saying? Or semen, damn, but it is. It's real slippery. Okay, now we got to make sure there's a big hole and a small hole, so I'll just... Or you can remember what side the extractor goes on, but I can never remember because I have no brains. There, yeah, that's good. Put the bolt in first. And put this cam block in there. Like that. 
I know you guys know how to do this, but the new guys might not. Fire and pin. Right. What happens is the firing pin goes through this cam lock and then, you know, watch. Okay, now I'm going to stick in my retaining pin. There's a big hole on this side, a little hole on the other side. I stick this in there, just like that. And now what you'll notice is, wow, look how nice and loose that is now. Oh. See that? Okay. Well, it ain't going to stick like it did before, but as you can see, it's a lot looser now. There's no need for the gas rings, and uh, the rifle is good to go. Okay. And that's it. I just wanted to show you that little, little tip with the gas rings if you have a gas piston system okay if not leave them alone leave them alone okay we're good to go put that all back no you don't need to see all that that's what the video is about it's just the gas rings it's not an AR-15 just assembly video and um, I just want to mention uh, about DPMS's customer service I'll tell you what man as far as I'm concerned and the uh, experience I've had with them, their, their customer service is awesome. You ever call DPMS and uh, you have a problem so if with me, they've helped me out big time. It has nothing to do with my channel or anything. It's just They don't know me from Shmi. You know what I mean? Alright guys, just, uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. Talk to you soon.